Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're playing a new game, sort of new. It came out a little while ago, and I'm sorry for the popping and the. I got my mic readjusted. <laughs> sorry for the very loud sounds I'm hitting the microphone. But this is a new game, and we are in a different version. Uh, this is version four, Clem edition. Uh, I guess you could say that. It is called Autonauts. Uh, it's a very interesting game, and in version 4, there's a lot of bug fixes. Uh, first, I, they fixed where a worker is able to pick up a farmer or another worker. Uh, now it doesn't. Uh, a worker can be picked up while being taught. I'll show you about that later. Uh, ground texture is being corrupted. Uh, that has also been fixed, and I actually encountered that bug. I actually encountered most of these bugs. Uh, yeah, metal workbench can't be deleted or accessed on the right hand side. That was 100% what's happening to me. Absolutely all these things. And the things that, the, you know, I'm not going to go into the bugs. I'll put it all in the link. I'll put it all in the description. But what they added is a clay pot that can be made in the clay furnace. A clay pot cannot be required to make porridge. Multiple file saving and loading are added. Workers can now build blueprints. And I'm sorry. Wow, it's loud. I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust that for a second because that's like really loud. For me at least. Actually no, it's for me at least, so I'm gonna adjust it to there. So let's get right into it. Um that is my world. I am not gonna load that because it's just nah, it's not gonna do it. So let's go ahead, let's build crude X. And let's go to this pine tree. And let's chop it down. And uh, let's chop down all these pine trees. And I honestly think they adjusted this area a little bit, but I would not know. So this game is actually very addicting and very fun. It is one of those games that you're going to have a lot of fun playing. There's a lot of fun things to this game. Sorry, I don't, I'm just like really having a hard time breathing. Ugh. <sighs> okay, this game is very addicting. Okay, I'm going to speak a little closer like right here okay again this game is very addicting and it can get very uh it is never boring i will just say that it is never boring uh these are i guess these are like little characters these are called folks and folks you have to make them happy and making them happy can be difficult or can be easy it all depends on how you do in the game so i'm just gonna collect all this stuff and i'm just gonna Move over here because I want to put out some simple flooring, which is basically where you put all, most of the machi uh, machines on here. And I usually go with this pattern, or so three by three, by technically one, because one is the Y. Or three by one by three. I don't know how it works honestly, uh, but these everything, the way you craft them is already said. You need two logs, and yeah, I know it said. I know it says log, but it, if they put the parentheses and put an S between them, it just wouldn't look so clean. So, I, li I like it as is. And to place stuff, you right click. And to pick up stuff, you left click. And to chop stuff or dig stuff up, you left click. To craft things, you right click. And crafting things are with the bench saw, good bench saw, basic workbench, metal workbench, and the worker assemble mm -hmm. I will get into if we have time to make it. And like I said, this game is very fun, it is very addicting, and I actually did that. And my other world, everything is automated. That, that's how fun it is, and I mean to give you a sneak peek of it, but it's just kind of loud because there's a lot going on. The world is fairly big. At least I think it's big. Uh, it's more than enough. You honestly don't need to live, you only need to live on one island, and probably the best island would probably be this one. It's actually not an island, it's a continent more. It's uh, the biggest, I think, body of ma uh, land. Yeah, it's the biggest body of land. But whatever, let's, uh, let's just place the log down. Okay, let's let's get into more. So the crude workbench. Okay, <laughs> now we have to place more logs because the game's like, yeah, you can't do that. 
And for to access this menu, just press the E button, uh, letter key. I don't know. Oh, great. Team Cow is just going to take all that up. Uh, you guys are obnoxiously loud. Whatever. I'll try to... No, you're not going to... Okay, whatever. Try to ignore him. Uh, basic workbench. It's basically, it's kind of a simple setup I like to do. Uh, a wood router is basically kind of a necessity. And a worker assembler. Yeah, I forgot they do that every single time. So, that's not going to be fun. Uh, these are the main four things you need to get your worker box. And for this, we need two logs, four planks, and one stone. So, let's get one stone. Let's already place it in there. That would be your saw or your cutting wheel. Then we need two planks. So... Okay, y'all don't have to be annoying, so, yeah, whatever. So let's go over here, let's chop down, or let's chop up that. Let's, come on. Ugh, I hate this game. Not really. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Good X. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're very annoying. I'm just gonna put it at that. Your character could carry up to four planks at a time, and it doesn't seem like a lot, but then other items you can't really carry much of. Uh, the worker box can carry much more than you. Uh, they could carry two logs instead of one, so I guess that's I guess that's kind of good. I don't really know, but this game is actually very addicting and very fun, and I honestly will keep playing this on and on and on. And no, I'm not being paid to say that. Uh, this is honestly my honest opinion on this. But I have been in getting into contact with them. And did they do graphic change? I don't remember that being their last one. Well, whatever. So basically what this does is it doubles the production of what you could do with a tool. Uh, the crude axe or any axe. Because you saw I got two uh, planks out of the log with that. But with this, I'm going to get four. And it's a big step up, so... I think it's good. That requires no. Nope. Let's just take these two. And let's you you do the left click to change whatever item you wanted to do. Well. need more of that. Oh, there's more stones here, so. I needed two. That's actually kind of a lot. Actually, how much time? Ooh, eight minutes. I'm gonna make this ten minutes, so. Pull two. Um, this is gonna be a basic little thing, and I know I'm kind of speaking quiet. I may be loud for some people, but right now I'm being pretty quiet so yeah we can make this a 10 minute video that I'm gonna gonna head out and probably make more of these videos so gonna make a shovel I don't feel like picking up these acorns so And the main objective of this game is to automate your entire world. And I will say it is very satisfying in the end when everything is absolutely automated. But there's not a single moment where I was like, wow, this kind of sucks. I'm not really doing anything. But now once everything was automated, I was like, this is a fun game. And I know, oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. There was never a thought in my head like this is kind of boring or I don't really want to be doing this because it's just it's very addicting and honestly uh, it's not like I'm spending hours upon hours upon hours of doing this I'm not doing that I probably spent like an, like two hours playing this game throughout the course of three days or two days.
No, it's probably more hours than that, but I wouldn't know. I don't track my hours on this. I track my hours at my job. Let's just chop down those few trees, and once we have 10 minutes, I'm gonna end the video. So, this Yeah. Do we need planks? Two logs. I really do need that, but. Actually, do we need blocks now? I need one. A wooden axe. And we can make a wooden axe to that. And I could have given the log to that, so that's great. That's good to know. How many minutes? Oh, we're over 10 minutes. Oh, I probably spoke for 10 minutes. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video today. The video. The I'm going to end the video right here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I have a second channel uh, that's gonna start making more videos, but for now I need to get the projects done and everything. And these guys are so obnoxiously loud. Okay, I'm gonna speak over here, just in the abyss. Not really, because it's kind of stupid. But this is it for the video today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you stay tuned to this or you stay to this point, comment down below what you think I should do next or what I should do. Uh, how I should automate and what I should automate and what I should automate. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And sorry for that pop in that one.